Today we're taking a look at a new American brand that is heavily inspired by Louisiana and New Orleans. It's actually a Swiss made watch, so it gets a Swiss made hand wound movement inside. It is an elaborate grade, so actually very good looking, and you can see it through the sapphire crystal in the back. This is heavily inspired by Louisiana. As I mentioned, the owner is actually from Louisiana, from New Orleans, so you're gonna see a lot of that inspiration in this watch. Let's flip the camera and take a look at Bourbon Watch Company, Rue Canal. So today we have a very interesting watch to show you guys. It's sort of a vintage design, obviously a modern watch. It's a new watch that is from a brand that is heavily inspired by Louisiana, by New Orleans. It's called Bourbon Watch Company. And this is a hand-wound Swiss-made watch that, like I said before, gets a very vintage style case and dial. The dial is actually inspired directly from a clock that hangs outside of a department store, DH, I believe it's called DH Homes Department Store on Canal Street in New Orleans. Now, it comes in this packaging. I don't know if this is the packaging it'll actually ship with, but it is a little carrying case. It is unsigned, so I'd imagine the uh, production model might be signed. This is a prototype. So, uh, they haven't said that they're gonna be changing anything with this watch going forward, and I actually think that's a pretty good thing because I really do like the dimensions. I like the look of this watch. I think they did a pretty good job. Now, uh, as I mentioned, it is a Swiss watch and it does get a Swiss made movement in the back. So this is a Salita SW210, but it's an elaborate grade. So that means you're getting obviously Geneva striping. It looks really good. Actually looks really nice when you flip over the case. You do get a screening case back. I believe the case back is a sapphire. And then of course you get a sapphire crystal in the front. It is a flat sapphire crystal in the back. And of course a flat sapphire crystal in the front. You get a nice big crown on here for the size of the watch. And I will change the time here. And you have sort of, I guess, syringe hands, but they're very classic looking or vintage looking syringe hands. This is a green dial and then you have a gold toned minute track and then the indices are in a sort of goldish, brownish, cream colored uh, tone. And then the hands are filled with loom, I believe, and we will do a loom shot at the end. Uh, you have a red seconds hand. Now the Logo for this brand is the Florida Lee. So there's, I believe, three of them sort of stacked. And then it just says bourbon right there in sort of large lettering. So it's pretty large on the dial. And it just says bourbon. It doesn't say watch company or anything like that. Uh, so there you go. If you like bourbon, this is definitely a cool watch. Uh, now, it does get fancy lugs, I guess you would call this. These are sort of teardrop lugs. Uh, I've heard them called... Uh, I think fang lugs and horn lugs, but very common for vintage watches to have lugs like this. Uh, Vacheron still make a few watches with lugs like this, uh, and I love them. I think they look great. These are polished, and the side of the watch is actually brushed. And then the crown, like I said before, pretty large and is also signed. On the back of the case, it just says designed in Louisiana, uh, and then it gives you a little bit about the uh, actual watch itself. This is called the Rue Canal, which is Canal Street in uh, New Orleans. So I love New Orleans. I've been there about five or six times and you definitely get New Orleans vibes from this watch. Uh, obviously the lettering and the logo, uh, Bourbon, Bourbon Street and Bourbon, very important down in Louisiana, a lot of people drink bourbon. Uh, you also carry over that, or they carry over the logo sort of into the buckle. It's a little bit of a Florida de lis it's sort of a partial Florida de lis uh, Looks good, it's definitely a custom buckle uh, and it is milled, very nice. All polished, uh, I don't think there's any brushing on there, no. Now let's do some quick measurements, then we will throw it on my wrist, we'll talk about price, and then do a quick loom shot because I believe it does get loom. So I think this is around a 39 millimeter watch. So I think it's spot on at 39 millimeters. Yeah, 39 millimeters spot on. The lug to lug on here 
is a pretty decent lug to lug. It's not actually that short considering. So it's 46.8. It does wear nicely on the wrist and then a, a large crown for a 39 millimeter, uh, 6.3 millimeters. And then obviously it is a thin watch, 9.2 millimeters because you do get that hand wound Salita movement, which obviously makes it very thin. So very quickly, let me throw it on my wrist. Today I have a vintage watch on. This is a vintage Bulova Devil Diver chronograph. And ah, man, I am in love with this watch. It's a, my most recent purchase. I've been buying watches at a clip, I gotta tell you, and I have to stop because I've been spending way too much money, but this is gorgeous. Look at this. I think it's like 38 millimeters, somewhere around there at that bezel uh, for a vintage, yeah, 37.7. Uh, 37.5 for a vintage watch. It's a really nice size. It's actually pretty big, almost 38 millimeters. Um, this has a really nice calf leather strap on it. I believe it's an Italian leather calf leather strap. Uh, very, very nice and bolstered. So if you like bolstered, this is very, very bolstered. You can see it looks very classic on my wrist. It doesn't wear big. The look to lug is perfect, I think. And there you go. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. This is a 39 millimeter watch. It wears very thin. This is a true dress watch. So it's not a watch that you're going to, you know, go swimming with or do any of that stuff with. I think it's only like 30 meters of water resistance, maybe 50 meters if it's anything more than that. I'll throw it down in the comments, but that's what it is. Very quickly, let's talk about price and then do a loom shot. Price on this is $1,295. That's what they're aiming for. And I really do hope that's the price that they land on. If they go more expensive, I think this would be a little bit of a hard sell. At that price, this is a nice watch considering it is Swiss made and you get the elaborate grade hand wound Salita SW210. That makes a big difference because when you take this off of your wrist and you look through the Sapphire case back, you really do have a beautiful movement on here and it's signed so you have the logo for the brand right there uh, and you also get that logo right here on the strap and on this side as well so on both sides of the strap you're getting that logo it's just lined with suede very nice uh, very quickly a loom shot and then we will wrap up the video so loom only on the hour and minutes hand pretty decently applied though so it is bright however there's no other loom anywhere else I don't think that's a big deal since this is a dress watch. This is not a sports watch. The fact that they're putting loom, pretty good. It's just an added bonus to the watch itself. Uh, if you're buying most dress watches, do not get loom. So if it was a sports watch, I would definitely say it needs it. Uh, in this case, probably does not. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I think it's a good looking watch and something out of the ordinary not your everyday sort of dress watch that you get from a micro brand, something that looks like every other watch that you see on everybody else's wrist. I like that they took uh, you know inspiration from vintage watches from New Orleans, and you definitely get that in this watch. Uh, I really do like it. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Watch Chris Blog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.